okay, well, you know, uh, I addressed what happened here with the transgender thing in the bathrooms, etc. Some other things have come up when people have been talking. Now, there's something I wanted to address. And one person said that uh, they knew somebody or encountered somebody um, that was transgender. I guess they already had the operation and she said they were looking me up and down like a man. And well, let me explain something. You know, this was something that I didn't understand many, many years ago. I knew somebody that was that said he wanted to transition to be a female and be a lesbian. Okay? Yeah, and you go, well, you know, <laughs> it was mind-boggling at the time. Now, this was, you know, 25, 30 years ago that, that, you know, I knew somebody that told me this. And I couldn't figure it out for the life of me at that time. Well, I finally, I you know, came to understand and know that your sexual identity is different from your personal identity, okay? So, um, yeah, uh, there are some that are just attracted to female, but their mentality is female, okay? Their personal identity is female, okay? Now, just because somebody's transgender and going through the operation doesn't mean that they're interested in men, if it's male to female a transition, okay? Doesn't necessarily mean that. Same thing if you had female to male transition, doesn't necessarily mean that it's somebody that's interested in females. They may be interested in males. They may have that gay uh, you know, be interested in males. Yes, I know it can be confusing for people that don't understand that personal identity, their gender identity, and their sexuality are two different things, okay? So, you know, and then they come up with, and someone said, well, you know, there are men that dress as women because they're kinky. They just cross-dress. Well, they don't live like that, okay? We're not talking about somebody that's cross-dressing. Usually, if you have someone that's cross-dressing, they'll do it at their home or they will go out to a club or something like that once in a while. But they're not living like that, okay? That's a totally different thing, okay? Um, so, yeah. The, I, you know, the whole thing about uh, your gender identity and your sexuality um, are, again, two different things, okay? Again, just because you are born with a penis doesn't necessarily mean that you're interested in uh, females as a male, okay? <laughs> Okay, it, it's not that. Um, I think that uh, isn't Jenner didn't he transition into female? And I don't, I haven't heard that he's interested in men. Again, you can have that you know, that uh, separation of gender identity versus sexuality, okay? Those are two separate things. You can't, you know, you can't, same thing as you say, oh, because somebody's born with a penis, they've got a male, male identity, okay? Well, you may think that, but that's not necessarily in their awareness, their consciousness, Okay, I think that sometimes some of the uh, ones that are having that, um, 
change, wanting to make that change, have had a very close past life where maybe they're born this time male and their last life was female and they still have that mentality going, okay? Maybe they've had many lives as female and coming in this time, they still have that consciousness, okay? I mean, that's one way that I look at how this can happen. Um, now, it doesn't mean that I'm right, but it's something that I have seen that makes possible sense, okay? Because we've had many, many lifetimes. And if you've been many lifetimes in one gender, and then you come in as the opposite gender, maybe your consciousness has not uh, transitioned to that, okay? <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to try to address that and explain that just because you have one gender identity, you have something different in your sexual preferences, okay? So there you have it. You know, the same thing. You have women. Some women are straight and some women are lesbian, okay? Some men are gay and some are straight, okay? So uh, again, uh, you can't uh, just say because they have one physicality that that is going to determine their sexual preference. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> and it clears a little confusion. I know, like I said, when I was young, <laughs> this person told me, you know, came to me and they liked me and they said they wanted to become a female to be a lesbian. <laughs> and I was, at the time I was maybe, you know, 19 years old or something. And so well, yeah, at that point in time, I had could not figure that out. I was just like, wait a minute, you're born a male, you wanna become a female so you can be with women. I was like, <laughs> could not, could not wrap my head around it. Well, now that I've had many years in the form and uh, watched, you know, psychology and how things work, now I understand that again, your, your gender identity does not determine your sexual identity and preferences, okay? So thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this has cleared it up for some people. <laughs> and we'll see you online. Yes, life can be complicated. 